How are you, sweetie? How is your studying going? I'm good, mom. Everything is fine. Is something on your mind, mom? You look like you want to say something. Yes, honey, I do. I wanted to talk to you about Oleg. Do you know him well? What do you think of him? Yes, I know Oleg. But why are you asking about him? How do you even know him? Oleg is my best friend's son. His father and I were close friends in college. It feels like such a coincidence that you both go to the same college now. Oh, I didn't know that. That's nice. Anya. Oleg likes you. He really wants a chance to be with you. Would you consider it? Mom. What are you saying? Did he tell you about me? I know he is a good guy. But I don't feel that way about him. I love Victor mom. He is the one I want to be with. I see. So, tell me more about Victor. What does he do? And what about his family? He only has his mother. His father passed away. Victor works at a flower shop. He is hardworking. Are you sure you want to marry someone who has so little? Oleg has everything. A stable future, money, and family support. I don't care about money, mom. Victor loves me for who I am. Just because he is not rich doesn't make him less important. Love is not about money. This is my life. I will choose my future husband. You can't force me, mom. Dad, I will only marry Barry. Whether you like him or not, I will not marry someone else. Eliza, don't be dramatic. I'm a businessman. And my daughter marrying a poor guy who has nothing is unacceptable. You have to forget him. You will marry the boy we chose. No, Dad. I can't live without Barry. I love him so much. He is a very nice boy. And he makes me happy. Enough is enough, Eliza. Go to your room. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Dad, please, listen to me. Barry is not just some random boy. He is my future. Why can't you understand that? You are right, Anya. I understand, more than you know. I won't force you into anything. If Victor is who you want, then I will support you. Thank you, Mom. It means everything to me that you are on my side. Your happiness matters most to me, sweetie. Just promise me that Victor treats you well. He does, Mom. He is kind, loving, and respects me deeply. Then that's what matters. Love who you love, Anya. Life is too short for anything else. Now go back to bed. I will go to my room. No. I can't make her choose Oleg just because he has money. Anya loves Victor. And I see her feelings are real. I lost Barry because my family didn't accept him. Because he was poor too. No. I don't want Anya to feel that same hurt. She should be happy with the one she loves. She will be happy with Victor if that's who she wants. Where is Harry? Why isn't he home yet? I need to call him. Harry, where are you? You still haven't come home. 
and it's getting late. Eliza, I'm at a friend's place. He needed some help with something urgent. Don't wait up. Just go to bed. I will be home later. Are you drinking there? Be honest, Harry. I can tell when you are lying. What? No, Eliza, I'm not drinking. Why do you always think I'm out drinking every time I'm not home? It's just that you are often late without telling me. Anyway, just come home soon. I really need to talk to you about something important. All right, all right. I will be there as soon as I can. Don't worry. Good. Drive safely. Goodbye. I will. See you soon. Tina, I really have to get going. It's getting late. And Eliza is worried about me. I understand, but I wish you could stay just a little longer. I really needed someone to talk to tonight. I understand. But none of your friends came. What kind of friends do that, especially when you invited them personally? I don't know. I feel very sad. I thought they cared, but maybe I was wrong. Only you came, Harry. It means so much to me. I think you are my only true friend. Well, I always keep my promises. You are such an honest man. I wish I had someone like you in my life. A true partner. Thanks, Tina. I'm sure you will find the right person. Anyway, I really do need to get going. Thanks for inviting me. The pleasure was mine, Harry. Let's go. I will walk you out. Oh no! The tire is flat. It was fine when I got here. How did this happen? Oh, that's really bad. What are you going to do, Harry? I don't know. How will I get home now? Tina, can I borrow your car? I will have my driver bring it back to you tomorrow. I wish I could help. But my dad took my car earlier this evening. Oh my gosh. What am I going to do? I just don't want to worry Eliza. She is already waiting for me to get home. It's so late already. I won't even find a taxi now. Don't worry, Harry. Let's go back inside. We will think of something. Just stay calm. All right. Maybe I will call someone for help. Barry, why are you so quiet? I'm just surprised. You said you met Eliza today? Yes, I did. I went to the house of the girl Oleg likes. But I didn't know she was Eliza's daughter. What? When did you go? Why didn't you tell me? I couldn't bear to see Oleg so upset. That's why I went. I wanted to see if there was a way to help him. I see. So, how is Eliza? She is happy with her life. Why are you asking Barry? Do you still think about her? What? No, Anna. That was all in the past. I married you, didn't I? Well, sometimes I wonder if you are still holding on to old memories. Anna, you are my wife. Eliza and I were just young back then. Things changed, and I'm with you now.
Yes, the medicine worked. Harry, you drank way too much. Are you okay? Tina, I feel so sleepy. I want to lie down. Can you take me to a bed? All right, Harry. I will take you to my room so you can rest. Eliza, she is going to be so mad at me. She is probably waiting for me to come home. Don't worry about it. I will text her from your phone. You need to rest, Harry. You can stay here tonight. You fell into my plan, Harry. Tomorrow, you will be in big trouble. You fool, Harry. I want your company. And you will have to give me. Because you are going to sleep with me.